are here at the 2023 EV Rally. 50 vehicles, 34 teams. 1,200 e-miles, a range of vehicles and all about showcasing exactly what electric fleets can do. Five capitals, so we're starting in Cardiff, then we're off to London, London to Edinburgh, Edinburgh to Belfast, finishing in Dublin on Friday. Huge amounts of everything we do every day are going to be electrified. Um, we need to get people used to that and start getting into uh, understanding what that means. Uh, and, and one of the biggest things for that is vehicles, isn't it? How people get around the city. So we're really pleased to welcome everyone here today and see how things can work. Zenobi, not a name you maybe are familiar with, but you will be. Keep your eyes out because where there's a challenge, where there's an energy provision requirement in difficult locations, Zenobi, you're really unique, aren't you, in the marketplace? Yeah, there's not many mobile batteries of this size that can be used in these kind of applications available, so we're really trying to push into that market and provide those solutions. If you want to try that transition to electric vehicle, this is the way to do it in a cost-effective way. Absolutely. Totally unique to, uh, to Vitellus uh, and cost-effective. Three months uh, is the trial period. You, you've got all the, uh, the, the time in the world to make your mistakes and get everything right. You can talk about range, you can talk about batteries, but to just simply visually take 51 electric vehicles from a small sort of family hatchback right the way through to trucks and take them all the way through the UK and then through Ireland. Now we really want to be in a position where we can just say, look, it works and this is how it works. And we're stress testing the charging infrastructure. City Leap is a partnership between the City Council and the private sector, which over the coming five years will um, enable £500 million to be invested in greening uh, the infrastructure of Bristol. So we're talking about wind turbines, we're talking about heat pumps, we're talking about heat networks, and we're talking uh, EV charging, of course. What I like about the EV rally in particular is there's no turning up and having a bunch of charges waiting for you, you know, you're, you're, you're out there, you've got to go and make your, your own way around for a lot of the guys and and that's how it is in the real world. You know, we've got a whole fleet of cars doing this massive 1200 mile journey and they're all going to make it because EVs are they're reliable and with a bit of planning, a little bit of a little bit of care, you can get anywhere you want in an EV and you put all that together and, and what an event to be part of. Wavo Energy, third largest retailer in the UK, uh, and we've got a huge focus on what we call Path to Zero. So that's how do we help all of our customers, no matter where they are, um, decarbonise their homes and their transport. So whether that's getting a smart meter fitted, getting an EV charge point fitted because they're getting an electric vehicle, all the way through to solar panels so they can power their vehicle. Kettering is our largest EV charging hub to date, uh, so it's pretty massive. You can see every single bay filled up, um, and we have just over 10 um, super fast and ultra fast rapid chargers here. We're investing over a billion pounds, a billion pounds in the next 10 years to really turbocharge the rollout of EV in the UK. So we've taken a really inclusive approach to getting uh, our involvement in the rally. We've entered four cars, we could have entered four drivers, we've not, we've got about 25 people take, taking part. So we wanted to expose as many people as we could at Europe Car to this wonderful experience. So we've got people from our fleet team, our marketing team, our, our senior leadership team, our operations team. We've got people from Ireland and Ireland. We've got people from Scotland and Scotland. And we've loved it. Yeah, we're looking to be carbon neutral as a city by 2028, which is the, uh, the first in Europe. So it's really a, a drive, not just within the council, but also within the wider city and a push to reduce our carbon emissions.